Hi there, welcome to our pharmacy revision series by CBH Education. Today we're going to be talking about edoxaban. So, edoxaban is licensed for the prevention of stroke and systemic embolism in adults with non-valvular atrial fibrillation with one or more risk factors, which include heart failure, hypertension, age over 75 years and diabetes. It's also licensed for deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism and the prevention of recurrent DVT and PE. The mechanism of action is that it inhibits free factor XA. Side effects include abdominal pain, anemia, dizziness, hemorrhage, headache, nausea and skin reactions and drug interactions. So here one of the main things is that if you if you co-administer a doxaban with cyclosporine, drondorone, erythromycin or ketoconazole you have to reduce the dose to 30 milligrams. Counterindications include active significant bleeding, antiphospholipid syndrome and other risk factors for, um, for major bleeding. Key monitoring is full blood count, UNE and LFTs. Now key, key aspects to help with your revision, your exams, your clinical placements and OSCEs. One of the things is that the creatinine clearance for a doxaban, if anybody's got a creatinine clearance of 50 mils per minute or under, they have to be prescribed the 30 milligram. And also patients who have got NVAF and VT, VTE with one of the following risk factors. So if their renal function, as mentioned, is under 50 mils per minute, their weight is under 60 kg, and as mentioned, that they're taking the drugs as mentioned in the previous slide, then you reduce the dose to 30 milligram. Now, there are a lot of work's being done on um, changing patients who are clinically suitable from warfarin to a DOAC. And one of the things that we've got to consider here is that in the SPC, if a patient who is eligible for a change from warfarin to a doxaban with no clinical counterindications, um, the INR has to be under 2.5. And the MHRA warning is that increased risk of recurrent thrombotic events in patients with antiphospholipid syndrome. This is what clinicians to be, need to be aware of. For further information about adoxaban, please consult the summary of product characteristics and the BNF. Thank you very much for listening and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.